Hi, everybody. Hi. Today we are going to drink a lightly aged uh, white tea、uh -huh. from Fuding. It's the. Bao Feng Xiang Ji is a Gong Mei. Yeah, Gong Mei. Yeah.、Um, Gong Mei is kind of maybe one of the lesser known、um, white teas. Really, the main difference between、uh, like for Fuding white teas, like a Fuding Da Hao varietal. Um, is how it's plucked actually. So, Bai Hao Yunjin is a pure bud, just the bud pluck. Bai、um, Mudan is a one leaf, one bud pluck. Gong Mei is a two leaf, one bud pluck. And Shou Mei is a typically a three leaf,、mm -hmm. one one bud pluck.、Yeah. So, Shou Mei、uh, is very coarse looking, often with fairly big leaves, a lot、yeah. of leaf. Gong Mei kind of. Also fairly coarse, but a little bit less so.、Mm -hmm. um, Bai Mudan is kind of one leaf, one bud, so it's. And then of course Bai Hao Yunjin, which isn't really、yeah. a tea that's that's pressed into cakes typically. Yeah,、uh, I I think people do. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. but I think less interesting. But anyways, this one、um, picked in 2012 in I believe May 2012 in、mm -hmm. in Fuding in Fujian Province. Yeah. And then、um, pressed, pressed in 2018. 2018, yeah. So six years. It was six years old when it was pressed, and now we're getting pretty close. You know, a couple, few more months.、Uh, it'll be a seven-year-old tea.、Mm -hmm. So, anyways, yeah, we're gonna get started on this one. This is one we've been drinking for quite a while, and really like it. Yeah, I love it. I like the white tea. Especially aged the white tea. Yeah.、Uh, what's that saying about the, what's the white、uh, tea saying? 一年茶，三年药，七年宝 Yeah. So the first year it's tea. The second year it's not second year. Third year. Third year. Sorry. First year it's、uh, considered just tea. The third year it's considered medicine. Yeah.、Um, and then by the seventh year it's a treasure. That's, yeah. That's the translation of. You know,、um, but yeah, this is、um, this is also a tea that we that I've boiled a few times、um, and made like a milk like a butter, butter tea, tea butter tea with it,、oh, and, so and so good. Yeah,、um, this tea is definitely one that also not could also be brewed you know Western style、um, as well with good results. A little bit of age and it just really has a it's quite easy going. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink the wash here. Okay, well, too. Let's just put some more tea in. Wow,、this. I love the aroma. It's how, like sweet. How would you describe a、uh, sweet? Yeah. How else would you describe it? The aroma. It's kind of like a fu cha. Yeah, it's malt, kind of honey, sweet, malty. Sweet is kind、mm. of like rock sugar smell.、Mm. Yeah, there's like a mineral, minerally sweetness to it too, but it's not really、mm. mellow. Breakfast still. On. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Is spit it out? <laughs> why you sip your breakfast? You know. This is. It was. A, I know it wasn't breakfast. Actually, I had some nuts.、So. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, a little high pour there. Whoa! Wow! If the wash, I drink the wash. My mouth is so sweet. Hmm. This is gonna be even nicer. Now it's like a H to have some H aroma. Hmm. Yeah. So what do we know about this brand of tea? It's just a friend or friend of mine. Mm-hmm.、Uh, he is working with somebody. Made this tea. Okay. So it's like a small. Are you talking about our Anxi friend? Oh、uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Our Anxi, our Anxi supplier has 
um, working with another uh, Fujian person, uh, yeah. Fuding person, and mm -hmm. created this um, brand of white tea. So I think they just they only have two cakes so far, right? Yeah. Yeah. So far. Yeah. But then we offer both of them a six year and a three year. Mm -hmm. The three year is a little bit cheaper. The six year, um, a little bit more expensive. Um, both are really good. The six year comes, this one comes in a, comes in a gift box. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. It's a good gifting tea. Yes. Wow. Wow. So smooth. Yeah. Very thick, very viscous, mm -hmm. creamy, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah, oily, far. creamy. The white tea after eight so well really have very rich, you know, taste and the aroma. Yeah. It's very the aroma is really special. Little orange tea soup there. Yeah. Mm. Burn the, oh no, there's tea in there. Do keep forgetting. Uh oh. Something oh there we go. That's why I wouldn't go in. Um Oh, good. just the steep is even better. It yeah. just keeps getting better. Mm. I just don't really know how to describe it. It's just that that kind of like aged white tea taste is so unique. Yeah. You know? It's like... Mm. So satisfying. It's something hard to use words. Yeah. Just buy it. Again. <laughs> That's all my whole argument. It's good. No, I think at least it's, it not is good. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. good. Seriously? Almost. What do you mean almost? That was a good He did. Why would you want to control that? Yawning is one of the best things in the world. <laughs> Seriously. After, <laughs> after that, did you feel like your eyes is watery? Mm, no, no. I do. I hold a lot of tension in my jaw. Oh. Wow, tea soup's even getting darker. I think yeah. we're gonna got a really nice session. Plenty of steeps to go here. Mm. This one's more much more better. Should we? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. So satisfying. We just drink this one day before with our friend. Yeah. And everybody love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's so nice to drink a tea that's complex and full-bodied, but also just really, like, relaxing and mellow, too. Yeah. I just, I tend to gravitate more and more towards those teas and uh so i've really been getting into like fu cha mm. it does remind me a little bit of fu cha a little bit a little bit yeah. of age semi-aged fu cha especially after this one i drink i felt that in my mouth is have the fu cha you know similar as, uh, as fu cha i no. think it's because both of them is like use big leaves what am I? I'm just having a really hard time placing this mouthfeel. It's like after I ate something that reminds me of some something, but I can't. I'm not very good at that. I'm worse. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm actually gonna really boil the water here. Mm. 
let it sit a little too long before we started the video. This is your second tea, right? Yeah, I had some. Um, Lu Ye, some Taiwan sourcing Lu Ye, Roselle, Nectar, Qingxin, Oolong. Yeah. From winter 2018. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. It's a red oolong. That's what I drank this morning. Good. Very satisfying. Um. Oh, yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. the strangest things that just pop into my head sometimes. I'll just be sitting here drinking tea and I'll be like, I'll start thinking about like me, the books or music or something, you know? Like I just started thinking about Terry Pratchett, The Color of Magic. He's like a, it's a, um, a fantasy, a very humorous fantasy book that mm -hmm. I read about a year ago. It just yeah. popped into my head. Yeah. Anyways. Did something remind you? I don't know. I don't understand how it works. Like, what was the stimulus? Like, what's triggered that, um, that you know, memory? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta wait. Wait. You want to talk? I can't wait. I don't know what to talk about. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spring tea. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Actually, by the time this video is out, there will be tons of spring tea. We're mm -hmm. really slow with releasing the videos, the time between when we shoot the videos. But we're about to head over. Yeah. Head over the pond, as it were, to China and start our spring tea purchasing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that'll be exciting. Crazy. Lots of tea. Yeah. There'll be like thousands of bag like hundreds of pouches of tea everywhere and you know, we'll, but we've got a pretty good idea. We work with so many growers and, and suppliers year mm -hmm. in and year out that you know they kind of know what we want. But we're always looking for new we, we're yeah. always looking for new stuff too. Yeah. You know, we're always excited to offer new things and mm -hmm. um some Yunnan white tea perhaps. We can press a Yunnan white tea of some sort, maybe, or get some. I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Yesheng purple black teas. Yeah. And I think I want to make a Ye a Yesheng and Shengpur with ripe pour again this year. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. The monkey one. And I want to make maybe a Sheng. Uh, a Yesheng and a Sheng mix pour. Mm -hmm. We offer yeah. one from somebody else yeah. that I really like, and I think that we could actually do even a better job of doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. I've got yeah. a lot of ideas, but right now they're just ideas. At least you have some ideas. Yeah. Some ideas. Mm. Well, wow. Nice. Oh, we get that tea in there, or we'll get that water in there. Mental. Mental. <laughs> totally mental. That's English people like to yeah, say, right? Yeah. We're watching some English show. Man down. Man down. The, the, the Man show down. is called Man Down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then another one by the same, I forget the name of the, he stars in it and he writes the show. Um, gosh, what's his name? He's really funny. One of them's called Cuckoo and the other one's called Man Down. Uh -huh. oh, it's so funny. Man Down is more funny than Cuckoo, I think, but both of them are pretty funny. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, this one, if you tr can try, you can get some, get some of this, boil it, um, add some, uns add some butter, and add some Himalayan pink salt, and just drink it kind of like yak butter tea, yeah. but like you know, aged white tea, uh, butter tea is so good, yes. so 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 good. Also yeah. like that. I was never like into tea as a beverage, but. I don't know. I guess I think of like drinking butter tea is not so much a beverage as it is as like just like a well, like a wellness thing. Actually, mm -hmm. you know, I just I don't know. It's really like, I right. anyways. I are... still have the like very heavy memory, uh, you know. About oh yeah. The butter yak tea. Yeah, going to the, the Tibetan part of Yunnan and going up into the mountains near the Meili the Snow Mountain. The... Yeah, and far. it's amazing. You'll be hiking out in the middle of nowhere, like high up, just on trails, and there will be like these little, these little huts yeah. built, you know, by the local Tibetan mm -hmm. uh, people, and um, you know you can go in there and and they make uh, they make yak butter tea in there yeah. and br and uh, bread, bread yeah, yeah, barley bread, uh -huh. I think, from uh -huh. the from the high high altitude barley, uh -huh. and uh, feels so good. Yeah, it's like it's that. it's like magical. It's totally magical to be able to and you drink that, and it's usually salty too. Yeah, it's usually the salty one. It's actually it's usually both. I think a lot of times it's salt, salt and and a little bit of sweet, but yeah. but always salty. Yeah, and uh, we hiked like super far. Yeah, the... really high up too. Sometimes yeah. like even above like five thousand five hundred meters. Mm -hmm. um, well. Yeah, that's like some of the highest that we went up, but very gradually too. Um, you know, we, yeah. The um, then and now that area of Yunnan is called um, Shangri La or Shang Lila. It's the four like Di Qin. Di Qin, yeah. Yeah, in that area up in there in the far. Meili Shan. Yeah, up Meili there. It's yeah. just one of the most beautiful places in the world. Period. Yeah. Super remote. Yeah. You have to hiking or to have horse. Yeah. Some people riding horse, but yeah, we just walked. Yeah. It's it's fun. It's pretty. It's a very beautiful place. Yep. All right. Let's go. Oh. T T T. Still very yeah, very full bodied. And Yunnan has one of the most varied climates in the world. So many different climate zones. You know, so much. You know, I think I don't know. The highest point in Yunnan, I think, is just just under seven thousand meters. You know, so you know, twenty twenty one thousand feet. And then you've got the south, far, far south. You've got the you know Shishuan Bana mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, Yunjia. Yeah, and like Hukou down there on the Vietnamese border, mm -hmm. the super hot, humid, tropical. You've got the kind of like high, high, dry plateau like Kunming in those areas as well with very mild weather. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's really an absolutely incredible place. I highly recommend people go and visit. Just don't ask me um, for recommendations because. <laughs> I just don't do that. So many people ask me, hey, I'm going to Yunnan. I want you to, you know, hook me up with a, you know, tea factory I want to visit or I want to, you know, and it's like, we just don't really do that. We're not a travel company. We don't, um, you know, we don't, um, we don't take people on tours or things like that. It's not that yeah. we don't want to. It's just that it's just not our thing. We don't really have time and, yeah. and we have professional relationships with the people that, that supply tea with us and taking a big group of people out there is not something that we want to do to them either because yeah. it's... Especially like you know. tea seasons are really busy, very busy. Yeah. One, when it's not yeah. tea season and they want to have a break, you know, go somewhere, do something. Yeah. So well, I, no, just, I, I try to not... We try not to. Sorry, I thought you were much. done. <laughs> mm. 
Uh, I keep, I keep getting, well, no, I guess I, what I was saying was, is that, um, well, and in Yunnan too, is people, especially in the countryside where they grow tea, they take, you know, um, receiving, like when they have guests, they take that very seriously and that's a very, like, it's a big deal. So, um, you know, it's, I see it as a huge imposition really, you know, as to, to bring, to bring people there and show them around and all that. And I think it also... I don't know. That's, the main thing is, is we're just not really, we don't, we don't operate tours and we just don't really, you know, we just don't really do that kind of thing. So, yeah. but I think there are, um, I would always recommend to people that if you do want to go to uh, Yunnan, check some tours. Um, there's a lot of customized tours that you can do. Um, there's a tour um, group that's actually operated by one of our customers. It's called I Love Asia and they do um, some pretty cool tours yeah. sometimes in Yunnan that take you to tea places. Mm-hmm. The other thing you can do is um, search around and try to hire a translator and a driver. And it would be surprisingly affordable, actually. And then, you know, assuming you don't speak Chinese, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to get around, mm-hmm. you know, through a translator and a driver. Yeah. And, um, you know, they could take you to visit tea areas as well and do the kind of things that you want to do. So yeah, I definitely... That's what they yeah. do, so... Yeah, I definitely would encourage people to, to do to do the trip, but mm-hmm. um, we're just not really set up to to do that. And you know, when we're when we're in Yunnan, which is you know several months a year, we're just super busy super and very busy. focused entirely on work. Yeah. You know, so I appreciate everybody's kind of like understanding about that. I know I, the the enthusiasm is great. Um, but yeah, you know, everybody has their, we have our limitations. We can't do, do everything. So, Mm, so good. This tea could just seems like it can just go and go and go. I think we're going to have to kind of cut it off here because the steeps are getting long and I'm just starting to add in a bunch of filler here. But anyways, yeah. yeah um, check this out. Yeah, check it out. The Six Years Baofeng Xiangji um, White Tea. Six Years. Yeah, you can find it under um, like White Tea and then open that menu and there's a compressed um, White Tea section under the White Tea mm-hmm. as a sub uh, collection of the White Tea yeah. collection. So check that out. Um, we'll also link, you know, t- on the video as well. Yeah. But um definitely check it out good good tea there's a sample available Mm -hmm. yep yeah thanks thanks for watching the video see you next time thanks see you